Richmonders often have underestimated the quality and the significance of their unique architectural inheritance. This book is intended to make this inheritance understandable. Robert P. Winthorpe While covered in white marble and intended to be the tallest building in the city, the new Richmond City Hall lacks the monumentality and the presence of its predecessors. The main entrance is curiously located in the rear on Marshall Street. This is the White Tower restaurant in the style associated with the chain. Originally occupied by H. H. Wallace, a dealer in China and household wares. In fact, this is where my mother received her flatware for her marriage. Uh, this building has been stripped entirely of any architectural features. This building is of no interest, which was built on the site of a spectacular theater which was designed by my personal mentor, William C. West. Originally housing W.C. Schmidt's Manhattan Steam Laundry, the remodelings of this building have been drastic. Now this is where my father, God rest his soul, once took his shirts to be lightly starched on hangers. I remember one time going there to pick them up on my bicycle, an embarrassing moment that I will not go into. Tignor sold wallpaper. Any interest this building once had has been removed by remodelings. My grandmother once told me of going there and picking out some samples that she once hung in a shed that my grandfather held his garden tools in. This building was altered to look like a colonial house in 1980. To me, it looks an awful lot like an Arthur Treacher's fish and chips. While these buildings are bland, they fit well into the character of the block. This is an uninteresting front. Once the headquarters of the On Long Chinese Merchants Association, the Chinese signs give an exotic feeling to these rather ordinary buildings. This is a small, bland building. The modernization of this front is of little interest. This is a White Tower restaurant. This is a modern, stripped down building without any obvious architectural virtues. This is a small building of little interest. The recessed entrance was an effort to give character to this bland, modern building. This small commercial building is of little note. This small parking deck is without architectural interest. This small brick building is of little interest. This suburban style office building contributes little to the architectural richness of downtown. Incorporating some decorative elements from the building which preceded it, this may well be the most unusual white tower restaurant anywhere. A small shop of no architectural interest. This building is of little interest. This is an uninteresting apartment house. I have nothing to say about this building. This suburban office building is out of place on Main Street. This is a simple and not particularly distinguished front. This small office building's design is unrelated to the historic character of the block. Number 120 is a fine small building constructed by Charles Phillips for his own use. This small office building makes few gestures 
to architectural style. Stepping up the hill, these small buildings achieve a handsome rhythm. The buildings themselves are quite simple, but the ensemble is pleasing. This is a bland modern building. Built before the high rises of the latter 60s and 70s, this structure now looks distinctively suburban and dated. One of the largest and most impressive carriage houses to be found in central Richmond. This building with its slate roof, dormers, and cupola retains its basic character despite the singular graphic approach of the painted signs in the unappealing storefront. If there is any building in the downtown destined to be converted into a darling little boutique, this is it. This building houses a printing firm. Uh, this building was once a, a location of mysterious recruit by most people that have lived in Richmond for many years. Uh, this was once the location where my great 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 grandmother, God bless her soul, once provided Harriet Tubman with an infamous picnic basket. This is a Queen Anne double house. This is a low-rise office building with few architectural embellishments. Built as the Hotel Earl's Bachelor Apartments for L.M. Cheatham, this building is downright grim. A simple and straightforward commercial building, this structure would be greatly improved if it would be cleaned and painted. 100 block of the North Madison Street is now the home of a 7-Eleven convenience store. Not much is convenient about this store since it replaced one of the finest examples of a Queen Anne that I have ever seen in Richmond. This featureless building is of no architectural interest. This little noted house is handsome and pleasant. It is well preserved, even its carriage house remains in the rear, although it is converted to an apartment. This house needs to be painted, nevertheless it is in good condition. It's just a few blocks away from my favorite watering hole, Christopher's. If you're down that way, I suggest you walk by and take a glance at 02 West Carey Street.